Hi, my lovely people. So I want to say really quick, do not forget about the shout out special. I know a lot of you have been in my um, inbox and sending me emails and I'm catching up with them. So don't forget $15 shout out. It'll be in front of a video and in a community post. I will get to my emails and I will get to my IG, which is realdealstorm at yahoo.com. And my IG is realdealstorm. So guys, continue to invest in yourself. Your girl got you. Let's get you some storm chasers over there. Ooh, we. Now y'all know storm chasers are the best supporters. So get you some chasers. Okay. Ooh, let's get right on into this. What in the TMI too much information Nasty, gross railroad train collision is going on in the McIntyre household. Now, babe, babe, we about to have some fun with this one. But before we do, honey, let me say something real quick, y'all. Ooh, the peach patch. Ooh, they is something else. The last video I dropped about her math, math not adding up. Baby, it ain't adding up. It ain't. Now, I know a lot of y'all see it with Miss Storm. What if she was pregnant with twins and she lost one? No, nah, baby. That's not how she portrayed it, honey. This girl was out here crying for a whole week, posting stuff, laying in the bed. If y'all remember, with the baby on her chest. I got to hold my baby, baby. I don't think it was meant to be. She was out here getting, getting milk like a cow, utter swinging. She was crying, baby. Mm-mm. The math ain't mathing. This girl said she had a full miscarriage, but showed us papers that said possible miscarriage. So either way it goes. When she waited and was on bed rest and figured out that she was still pregnant and she knew she was, baby. Uh-uh. I'm going to need my storm chasers to get down in these comments. We got to battle this peach patch. Baby, they've been coming over here for your girl. But this one right here, how do y'all feel? How does the peach patch feel? Look at y'all leader. Yuck. Look at y'all leader. Y'all <laughs> y'all literally over here following a woman, right? And standing up for her toe to toe. But she gets on here and looks like she's spreading mayonnaise on a dang maxi pad. She over here buying avocado. She is over here buying all kinds of things, baby. Because she is baking up some bread and honey. It is sour dough. Do y'all hear me? How gross. How gross. First off. Let's just get right into it and let's talk about it, okay? Who in their right mind, right, gets on this app or any app or tells anybody, oh, y'all, I'm itching down there. I'm scratching down there. I got a little bumps. Now, let me tell y'all something. I'm going to say this. That don't always mean you gross, but in this case, they gross, okay? You don't <laughs> oversharing because I know it's going to be the peach patch to say, Oh, you can get yeast to them a lot of different things. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I mean, I am a medical professional. I do understand that. But it also comes with unhealthy eating, if you do not know that. It also comes from not wiping very well. It also comes from not drying off very well. See, when you're a woman, and I ain't being funny when I say this because I am a plus-size woman. When you are a woman that has a little bit of weight to you, baby, you got to make sure you dry off every crevice. You better lift that gut up. You better get under that side. Boom. You better do a lot, okay? And for a woman over here that's calling herself a throat goat and over here saying all the loving she gives her a uh, daddy and how she loves, you know, to give him that H-E-A-D, baby, I'm trying to figure out if you don't use the motherfucker, how does it get broken? Uh -huh. Anybody else wondering if you ain't using it, how's it getting broken, honey? So it's something you doing. It's something you doing because we seen the video where you, uh, you know, what you was pretending to do, what you do all the time. And you might not have been pretending and you came up and you had stuff smeared all on your face. So my thing is, how does it keep getting broken if they ain't using it? If it ain't by the hands of the owner, you feel me? Uh-huh. Maybe the bathing ain't right because you're saying over there in your shorts. Hey, guess what, y'all? I can't barely get out of bed. I'm sleeping for days. Then when she did the short where she was putting the uh, fluconazole on the bed. She's like, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Let me get all these crumbs. I was eating chicken. I was eating this. So maybe laying up in the bed for days, not bathing and stuff, and talking about you eating chickens and, and this and that, maybe that might be a little reason why, girl, you baking up that daggone sourdough. But only in peach fashion, right? Did she turn something like a lady parts issue into something gross? 
right? First off, she does a demonstration on the pad. It looked gross, like she was smearing some funky Hellman's mayonnaise or some kind of something she was whipping up. And then she presents it. Look, y'all, I got some meat. <laughs> like, then, to make it even worse, of course, here goes daddy. He goes out and he buys her some medicine, right? And when he buys her medicine uh, for her to administer on herself, he's just smiling, grinning, and skin. Who? What? First off, okay, yes, a man should go and provide anything that a woman needs. I still don't understand why men get um, embarrassed to go out and buy a pad because at the end of the day, if you're out here buying pads, that means you got some kind of woman in your life and that you're taking care of her. So that should be a turn on to any woman that sees a man buying that because that, that means he ain't got no shame in his game. But baby, let me tell you something. Once again, this shows us the lack of care that Wood has for Peach. Because I don't understand any man that will allow their wife to actually film the things that are going on with her personal body like that and think it's a joke and think it's a game. And then this is the woman that you lay next to at night that's baking something that ain't all too right. I mean, we ain't even going to go into it because we know he doesn't care. These antics that uh, Peach does brings in her money. And if she got money in her pocket, that means he got money in her pocket. And that's the bottom line. But, baby, I'm going to tell y'all one thing, right, that I caught from this. Y'all, uh, excuse me, let me put a little medical uh, info into y'all ears. First off, if a woman was to get something like that, right, the, any person, any doctor, they would tell you and we would know, hey, try some topical treatments. We seen that, obviously, Peace tried topical treatments, right? The And those things that she bought, in case you don't know, that uh, would throw on the bed to her are inserts that you insert yourself and it's a really strong medicine. It should cure anything that is like common. Let's just say that if it was a common little yeasty problem, it would have been fixed. Fluconazole, which she has the uh, generic of, which I don't, honey, I don't know about the generics. I only know. Fluconazole is what you give someone who has severe. That means, honey, it can't be treated by nothing over the top. It done went too far. It done spread. You done let it go too long. It could be that you got it in more than one places because if you guys don't know, you can get them under your cantaloupes. You can get them in any dark, moist place in your body. Uh, trust me, I've seen people with them to have them on their thighs and things of that nature, okay, in my line of business. But once you get the um, oral treatment, that means it was pretty bad. It means it was pretty severe. It was pretty spread. The doctor seen now, she said that she can go pick them up at her pharmacy. See, I don't know nothing about no generic knockoff meds. I would choose to be the one that I have good health insurance so I get the top line stuff. I don't know about them knockoffs, all right? We don't know about them. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. But girl, it must be pretty bad if you got to go to the oral treatment because, uh, baby, that means you need it inside of your entire body that the uh, infection is so bad that it is spreading everywhere. That's what that means, honey. That means just pretty far gone. So um, me personally, this would not be something I would share with the world or the audience because it's gross. It's natural. It is. <laughs> that's what she said. It was natural. Huh. It's gross and natural. I don't know what else to say about it besides yuck, yuck. And for a woman to say, well, it's natural. That means it's natural for you, right? Not for everybody out here in the God's green earth. It's natural for you. So, baby, all I know is this. The behavior over there being displayed is gross. If you can go on and, right, do some things like that, why can't you get on here and discuss why your belly is the way it is or why you got that goiter hanging off your neck or what's going on with you medically and tell the truth about that. See, that's what I find very ironic. She won't talk about the pregnancy or miscarriage anymore, but she'll talk about what's going on between her legs. Girl, don't nobody care. Don't nobody care. Honey, Wood don't even care. Oh, uh -huh. y'all, like I said, I'm going to need y'all help with these comments because the peach patch is coming, but that's my opinion. So I'm going to see y'all below.